Well, hello. Well, hello. What's happening? You it's look... on OG. Look at us. See, look at Nigerian... <laughs> Two Nigerian girls. I know. At and the you... Ellen Show. I'm, I'm Ellen. Yes. Yes. Clap it up. Clap it up. I feel like this is history. This is history being made. Absolutely. Because we've, we've known each other for a little while. We go way back. Way back. When, when I first came from England mm -hmm. to LA, we used to hang out. We did shows together. We did. We even tried to write a pilot together. We did. And then you left me for New York. It was for your own good, Yvonne. <laughs> I left. If I hadn't left you behind, you wouldn't have got insecure. Is that? Oh, that's oh. Not, that's the story I'm telling. That's the story. Well, that's not the story I remember. I know, but we had matter. a script, yeah. and then you come back later, and you're like, "I saw the show." That's not <laughs> very. But then nice. you were on a show, you're and now you're a star. Touche, touche. You're hosting Ellen. <laughs> 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 So, I mean, you know, we both have Nigerian parents. You grew up in London. I yes. grew up here in America. Um, and, you know, you famously say if you're not a doctor, lawyer, or engineer in a Nigerian family, you are a... Disgrace to the family. That's it. <laughs> Those are the only choices. Like, even when I was a kid, teachers at school were like, you know, they said to my mum, you know, your, your daughter, uh -huh. she, she's very talented. She should be an actor or a performer. And my mum was like, well, she can act like a doctor. <laughs> Until she becomes a doctor. Yes. And that was the end of that. That was the end of performing arts. I studied physics, biology, chemistry. My mum picked all the subjects. All the subjects. And, Anything. And now she's super proud of you. Oh, yeah, because I've been on TV now. She's of course. like, oh, yes, my daughter. She's the, look at my daughter, the clown. The look at her. <laughs> look at that. Well, but now our parents get recognized. Like, my mom just got recognized at the Grove before me. <laughs> and I was like, you're the only, I'm the only reason people know who you are. Does that happen to you? Oh, my mom gets recognized everywhere, and she's always prepared. Like, people come up to her, you're Gina's mom, and she brings out uh, a, a photo album. Hello, uh, this is my daughter, Gina. Of Wait. course, that's her. But look, forget Gina. This is me in my favorite dress, <laughs> and this is me again at a wedding, and this but is, yeah, there's Gina. But this is me again. Like, Wait, like an actual photo oh, album? She like... can't, yeah, my mom's old school. She don't do the phone. Photo album, <laughs> ring binder. She Elasticated, I, the whole thing. I think she wins. I think she wins. Um, so now, you know, we both follow each other on Instagram. Yeah. And I, I noticed that you and your partner, Nina, like to do this thing where you dance just <laughs> randomly. We, it's not random. It's specific. We got this thing. I do this thing called Tunes on Tuesday. OK. So every Tuesday, I do this game where I play a tune from my childhood. Now that this mumble rap rubbish that you got out now. Proper music. I don't know that anything With normal. lyrics. Words! <laughs> and I put a tune on and we dance to it and then you don't have to guess the tune. I, I feel like dancing is, is too, um, too great a word. You are not dancing. What do you mean I'm not dancing? You're, just, you're, like, you're like moving your arms. I'm dancing. Gina, Twitch dances. You are just <laughs> Twitch like... Twitch does acrobatics. <laughs> I dance. <laughs> So me and you, in addition to being Nigerian, me and you have something else in common. We both wrote a book that came out this year. I wrote a book! She wrote a book! I wrote a book! Look at this! <laughs> what was it like writing a book in the uh, quarantine? Uh, listen, I don't know what other time I would have had to write that book. Because <laughs> I got the book deal a year before I got Bob Hart's Savage Shola. Uh -huh. And I'm a mad procrastinator. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Never did anything. And then... COVID happened and I was like, well, I'm stuck at home. I better write this book. Yes. And literally, I wrote it during quarantine, but I got no discipline. I got not, I'd write a few pages and then I'd leave it for a month and go, oh God, deadline. And then I'd wake <laughs> up at three in the morning and just write. And then I'd go back to sleep. And then three weeks later, oh my God, I've got to write some more. And that's basically how I wrote the book. It came out all right though. It came out, I think it came out okay. <laughs> but that's not how you write scripts for your show, Bob Hart's a B-Show. It better not be. No, I have to, I have to be in a room and it's discipline and I have to. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a wonderful experience. It is. Uh, I'm in the room writing these scripts. I exec produced the show as well. I, I wrote myself in because I want all the checks. Come on. I, myself in. I love it. I love it. Creator, author, stand up comic, dancer. <clears throat> what, whatever, whatever, Yvonne. I saw the <laughs> face. I, 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 it was a, I'm glad you did. I was not even trying to be funny. Okay, I was, fair enough, fair enough. All right, Bob Hart's Episode airs Mondays at 8.30 on CBS. Guys, we'll be right back.